These woods are an example of what can be accomplished without man's interference. This forest, away from any town or communal society, is as untouched by man as any mass of green can be. It would be easy to mistake an area like this as a place of solitude and silence. That is not the truth. Here, there is no substantial evidence of civilization, but that does not mean it is without life. Wind and water fill the amphitheater with motion and meaning. Endless chatter of woodland beings permeates within this arborous cathedral. These are not idle conversations. It is an opera, a symphony, a concerto of unification perfectly executed by design. There is no explanation for how these beings coexist. There is no reason to know why. Within these trees, among these streams, life is, and that is good enough. Nature is not entirely benevolent, and yet this does not take away from its beauty. Animals are hunted and eaten alive, with no knowing of anything outside of this forsaken wood. Human life is very much the same. Every day is lived knowing that any moment could be your last. But it is assumed that now is not that moment. Today is not that day. There is a desire to strive for significance, but in the end, every day ends just the same. These vicious beings live doing what they must do to survive, even if it means the end of another creature's life. Does this make them any different than the small rodent burrowing its home within the confines of a tree to seek shelter from the outside world? Even something as beautiful as a flower can be subjected to draining the essence of other greenery to stand a little bit taller and glow a little bit brighter. There is a cruelty in nature that brings about destruction, and yet this forest still stands. Life carries on, even if it's not the life that came before.